Steve Pate started the day, three bogeys and a birdie in his first seven holes, but then caught fire. Birdies at 9, 10, 11. Here's his second at 12. Yeah, back right hole location here, David. If you can get it over this last little ridge, the ball wants to filter right to the hole. Excellent execution there by Steve Pate. Unmissable four birdies in a row. Lee Rinker, a club professional for par at number 13 to keep the lead. Yeah, tough par three. Any three's a good score there. Rinker very happy with that. Staying at three under. Gordon Brand started his day at number 10. This for birdie at the fourth. Yeah, par three that was actually the most difficult hole on the golf course when the championship was played here in 2012. Any two is a good two. Brand with a share of the lead. Jay Haas, two-time past champion after birdie at number nine, his third at 10. Back-to-back yeah, -back par fives at 9 and 10. The 10th hole front hole location. Have to get it over that false front, and Jay Haas did. Get him to two under par. Very next hole for a share of the lead. Yeah, short par three here. If you get the ball in their hole high, you have a birdie putt without much break. Jay Haas takes advantage. Speaking of good putters, Golf Channel's own Brad Faxon at number 10 for birdie. We might as well give him this one, shouldn't we, as well as Faxon putts? He'll take it, and he does. Faxon to three under as well. Not finished. Good putter. Pretty good off the tee as well, number 11. Yeah, par three, just 134 yards. So most of the guys will be hitting either a good hard pitching wedge or a little nine iron. Faxon with a little nine iron almost knocks it in the hole. So Jay Haas at the 12th to get to four under. Does so. Faxon would tap his in. Two players tied at the top. A man who's won this twice. Both Ryder Cup players here in the 75th Senior PGA Championship presented by KitchenAid.